Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some, this is a limited edition Fox's. These are hard boiled sweets. They were sent to us from Dr. J in the UK. Dr. J went to B&M and he paid 69p for this uh, package. It's a good price. It is a good price. It, but this is going to be a cool review because it says, guess the mystery flavor. Which and, the European flavors we probably won't guess. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah the, the, it, we probably won't have a clue what it is because they have they use different flavorings than mm -hmm, we do. Different dessert. Um, British Pudding Collection. Pudding just means dessert. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and then I'll read it and because I'm wondering if you're going to have to divide them out while I'm reading it. It's fine. I'll tell you that there are four flavors and um, there's one, we'll two, three, and then there's a, there's three flavors and a mystery flavor. So four total. Well, they all look the same. Oh, they do all look the same. <laughs> Why would they do that? Um, they literally are Why would all, they do that? It's all mystery to, um... Oh my gosh, why would they do that? Because I was hoping... Okay, here's a dark one. You know, maybe... I don't know, I'm just gonna This is gonna be terrible. Here. Um, I was hoping that we would definitely know the... The, like, one's jelly and custard. Well, there's a red one. One's lemon meringue tart. I was hoping one would be yellow, one would be, you know, the packages. Um, this way you're wasting a lot. It is. I think we're, it's we're really going to waste a lot of these. One of them is peach, peach melba, and then one of them is a mystery flavor. So they're all mystery flavors. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're, mystery, they're all mystery flavors okay, this to anyone clear. who gets this. Okay, that's probably lemon. Uh, jelly, jelly and custard, lemon meringue tart. Peach, that's probably peach melba, and then you have a mystery flavor. The clear one might be the mystery. It might be. It could be. Well, I mean, any of them could be anything, right? Uh, um, they're yellow. Okay, so those are the four uh, known flavors. Yep. So now you just have I just to. Need a, now you need to find. A different color. No, those are the four. Oh. There's three flavors in one mystery flavor. Okay, so the clear one's probably the mystery. Yeah, probably. So I don't need to open any more. Well. Oh, no, I have to get one each. You know? Yeah. Okay, here's another one. <laughs> well, you're going to actually need to open two more, but that's okay. Well, We could do that after. This. We could do that after. Right now, we're just going to open one uh, a piece for us. I, don't yeah, think I wish they had done different colors. I mean, that's yes. kind of disappointing. It's fine to have a mystery flavor. That's fun. But then make the packaging for all the other ones distinct packages. You know, a yellow package, an orange package, uh, you know. And then the mystery just, then you'll know, oh, these are all the mystery flavors. We're just... Get a guess at. Yeah, I'm looking for a yellow. Um, it says, Foxes, we believe life's better when you take... Uh, I'm not getting the whole thing. Hold on. Here we go. At Foxes, we believe life is better when you take things slowly. These principles go right back to 1918 when Eric Fox first established Foxes Glaciers as long-lasting sweets with flavors that are worth savoring and taking time over. Fox's British Pudding Collection is a limited edition selection of some of the nation's favorite puddings. We've created jelly and custard, lemon meringue tart, and peach melba flavored glaciers alongside one mystery flavor. Follow us on social media to find out more. Um, it's suitable for vegans. Okay. Packed in the UK. It says Dublin. Uh, www.foxesglacier.co.uk So since these are all a collection of the nation's favorite puddings Which is dessert. Wouldn't it make <laughs> sense that one of them would be either sticky toffee pudding or like Bakewell tart? It could be a Bakewell tart. That would be good. That's just my guess. I'm trying to find a yellow. Without tasting it, that's my guess. We can go ahead and, and taste it. Okay. I don't have to dig out. Let's try the yellow and see if that would be the lemon meringue. I'm sure. Mm. I get a lemon. For sure. That's so nice. You know why? There's a creaminess to it. I'm not used to having that in a lemon candy like that. You, our lemon candies are pure lemon. 
And like that, that's not a bad thing because they're lemon and they're very sweet. So that's good. But do you get that too? It's like a, there's mm -hmm. a creaminess yeah, to it. I do. Like a cream candy. Mm. So there's nothing, there's nothing sharp about it. There's no sharp flavor. It's all just like a mellow lemon. But mm -hmm. I really do like that. Yeah, but it's I'm mm. still looking for one yellow. Okay. I'm using your dead papers to put that on. Yep, okay, right. so now let's do, uh, let, I'm thinking that, well, <laughs> uh, this one is the peach. I'm assuming Which it's the orange? peach melba. Hmm. I like that. I do too. I might have to use one of those yellow ones. For the it's fish. very distinctly peach. That's mm -hmm. fine. No, please no. I like the size of these two. Mm -hmm. I don't you could know. Suck on them for a while. You could suck on them for a while. I don't know. I don't know that this is the type of thing that I would want to pop in my mouth before a meeting, where no, I'm gonna no, have no. to talk, because it is big. You know that 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 is a a big mint to have in your mouth, mm -hmm. and you see I'm having to pocket it over here in order to talk, which you could do. But I've chewed mint things like this before, mm -hmm. like Jolly Ranchers. This is about the size of a Jolly Rancher. Um, I've done mint, mints like this at, at meetings and stuff. I feel the same way about that peach that I felt about the lemon. Mm -hmm. uh, the I peach think is better though. The peach. Now see, I like the lemon mm -hmm. better. Between the two, I like them both. They're both really good, but I like the lemon better. The The peach is more a pure peach and less of the creamy flavor. Yeah, I love it. The lemon had more of that creamy flavor. No. You want okay. a red one now. Jelly and custard. I don't know. This could be the mystery. Yeah, I'm assuming it, the white's going to be the mystery. I would think so. Mmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. Strawberry. Mm-hmm. That's what it tastes like to me, strawberry. I could see that. Do you not think that's strawberry jelly? Mm -hmm. Tastes like strawberry jelly to me. It does taste like strawberry. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a lighter flavor than the other two. Mm-hmm. But it's still very good. And it doesn't taste like a... It doesn't taste as strong as like a candy strawberry here. Because this tastes more like natural. I like a. I know it's candy, but it tastes like a, a more natural with some creaminess mm -hmm. to it. Mm. I really like that. It's it's very good. Right? Okay. And like I said, it's a little lighter flavored than the other. We two. probably should have tried the mystery first, but I didn't think about. No, it's alright. Okay. What is this gonna be? Mmm. That's good. It's good. I have no idea what it is. I'm going to guess sticky toffee pudding. I don't know. Because to me, the only reason I get a little bit of a molasses flavor, but I also, it's a very, very sweet. That's what my guess is going to be. Uh, I could be totally wrong. If anything, it's 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 something very very sweet. But my that's my guess. That's sweet. It's sticky off of it. See, for me, it's more just syrupy sweet than than but flavor. But just sweet. I do get a little hint of molasses, but which I don't even think I put in my when I made sticky off of it. I don't even think it has it in there. But that's what I'm tasting. Um, and that's what sticky toffee pudding is. It's literally an over-the-top sweet dessert. Sweet with a very uh, thick, like, sauce. I love those, and to me, that's what that is. That's mm -hmm. definitely the sweetest thing in there. Yeah, oh and yeah. it stands out. Yeah, they're all very good. I would eat, I would get this bag and, and eat them anytime. Well, I'm wondering day. how long these have been out. Like, when are they gonna announce what the flavor is? Yeah. <laughs> I, There's um, probably a date on there somewhere. Somebody's, well, they're good until May. No, I mean, there's somewhere they usually say, Oh, know, the, no, they don't hear. The mystery flavor will be announced in whatever. Hold usually. on. Packaging, uh, let's see, video. Especially if there's a contest. If there's a contest involved, they always say when because the contest has to end. The contest <laughs> has to end, but 
most of the things that have mystery, well, at least I, I'm never aware of it. You just don't look. I just don't They look. always announce them on the right. website. Right. Okay. If anybody knows, tell me, tell me what yeah, it is. Or if you've tried them and you've got to guess, mm -hmm. especially if you're in the UK, you, you eat this These stuff all the time. These are so good, though. Yeah. I, Fox's I, is a good brand. We ate Fox's mints all the time when we mm -hmm. were over there. We did. We ate the glaciers they mentioned, the blue yeah, ones. We yeah. did. Uh, what would be your favorite? Uh, I still like the peach. The mystery's mine. The, the mystery's really good too. It's just sweet. I'm going to pick anything. the mystery and then the lemon. Yeah, you really like the lemon. And then the strawberry. <laughs> peach is the, the last. The peach is going to be. But you know what? I like the peach. Somebody has to come in last. Yeah. I still like it. You know, that's just my order. Um, but Dr. J, thank you very much. It's always fun to try to guess. Mm -hmm. Even if I'm completely wrong, it still is an incredibly... I can't wait to find out what it is. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.